Well, 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 I guess if you provoke the bee's nest known as the internet enough, this happens. Hello everybody, this is Miles Luigi. A while back, I created a ROM hack called Super Crappy World. And in ensuing videos, I provoked people, admittedly, to create a Super Crappy World 2. And it has happened. So, by Multidragon129, I really have to wonder how crappy the ROM hack is. So let's start a new game. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, is any word different? Wow, no it isn't. The exact same intro as the original Super Crappy World, I think. I don't think I changed the intro in the original Super Crappy World. Oh, I should test this to my standards and Super Mario World Central standards. Actually, I shouldn't. I'll let Dex Guy do all the work, because he's probably going bonkers right now. So, we probably need to do the Yellow Switch Palace before we go to Yoshi's Island 2 and do Yoshi's Island 1 first. But first, we obligatorily have to check Yoshi's house, which is on a stone platform. Vital information for your everyday lives. I like pie. Yoshi paw print. I like pie too. <laughs> oh wow, the screen's scrolling with the fire. Woohoo, let's chase the fire! It's just like chasing the magic dragon. I like pie. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, peachy pie, math pie. Okay, I didn't die due to a lack of a Switch Palace. Mm, math pie. Is this level possible without the Switch Palace, provided I don't get killed by Gravel Thwomp? Ugh. That looks really, really ugly. As a super crappy world has shown us, we are just going to throw in a whole bunch of Gravel Thwomps. Ugh. But yeah, um... Mr. Dragon might have thrown a whole troll on us, saying, Oh, you don't need to get the L-Switch Palace, why would you do that level? I'm going to know everything in this game has been tested by me, and it is possible to do. Good luck, Jeffrey, or good or good You obviously home rode your keyboard there. Oh, gosh, darn it. Well, him saying the test, or the ROM hack is possible, is definitely a confidence booster. I wonder if it means my confidence is unfounded or not. And leap of faith, that was death. I was given a reminder that the ROM hack is possible. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? A mixture of safe water and gray death lava. What kind of chemical composition does gray death lava have to do to not mix with regular water? What'd you do to this ROM hack? Seriously! This honestly looks like I used a game shark, started playing Super Mario World, and it decided to throw up on me. <laughs> what the fudge did you do to this ROM hack? Like, nothing loads correctly, everything is garbled mess. Oh my gosh! I need to know how much you broke this game by ROM hacking it! <laughs> What's going on here? What is this in the shape of? A t oh, it would be appropriate, super crappy world of toilets. It, well, the picture may become clear if we remove all the music note blocks. It also kind of looks like a wheelchair to me or a guy sitting down. Right now we're just doing a psychiatric test on Miles Luigi here figuring out what in the world that is in the shape of. <laughs> What is that a shape of? Leave your answer in the comment section below. What is up here? It honestly looks like something is up here in this... Gosh darn it, I'm stuck, aren't I? In this big mess of something. It looks like someone tried their hand at pixel hearts and failed miserably. Go back to Minecraft, kid. Oh my gosh. Let's just get out of here. <sighs> Let's run past the rotating Yoshi guts. Oh gosh. Okay. Miles Luigi, you've seen so much worse in Kaizo Mario, and Kaizo Mario 2, and Enigmatic Mario. Don't think Super Crappy World is going to be the end of you. Let's get a running start. There you go. Gosh darn it. I, I already know what's coming up. I already know what's coming up because I see this. You see this? You see this? Chompers! Three 16 pixel blocks above Mario's head. You wanna know what that means? I need to do exactly that, except doing that is extremely difficult, because I swear to god you have to press the button for exactly one frame, and I'm doing it while I'm testing it, and then I'm not doing it. Just show every everything's just peachy pie. You know that peachy pie. <laughs> 
There! Okay, that did not take anywhere near as long as I thought it would take me. Thank goodness. I guess playing enough Firebomb Hacks has done quite a bit for me and my abilities. Ludicrous speed! I think you spelled ludicrous wrong. Only tested by Superman. By the way, keep the mushroom. Okay. Okay. I'm just about to say, did you feed this ROM hack to your dog? <laughs> did you find random macros on the internet and start just playing them to see what it would do to Lunar Magic? Did you play a random Atari game and th throw out what you were seeing? Did you make this ROM hack blindfolded? I don't know what you did to make everything so fudged up, and this is not ludicrous speed, this is normal speed! You have three speed settings in Lunar Magic. You have slow, you have normal, and then you have ludicrous speed. This is not ludicrous speed. I need a running jump, don't I? What's down here? Is this death? Oh, it's the bonus room. Can I get back out? I brought the Koopa Shell. Oh gosh, this is going to take a couple attempts here. Oh, gosh darn it, with... Since he put in the bonus game and the actual bonus game, getting out of here... Oh, gosh, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do it reliably, because the Koopa shall hop, I need to jump about here. Actually, we need a nice full running jump. There we go. See, if I hit my head on the top of, you know, one of the blocks, who knows? See, and I need to do kind of like that. Okay, this might not take so many attempts. Maybe, sort of, kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I can get out of here. I think this is literally room 0 or room 100. I I'm not even trying to get all stars. As a matter of fact, I already messed up once. See what I mean? I'm probably stuck in here. <laughs> I just killed myself by kicking the Hoopa shell. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, fudge. I hit... I hit the state low. Saved. Gosh darn it, why did I do that? Oh yeah, that's because I wanted to try to escape from this room. Now, I remember I configured my space-time rewinds to greater... Gosh darn it, why did I save state in this fudging... ROOM! Okay, Mr. Fake Ludicrous Speed, I thought that pipe was a pipe I had to go in or else I was going to get crushed. And maybe I just need to try more at escaping the bonus room. But, I'm just going to assume that the level did go on, you little bastard. You little bastard deciding to listen to Miles Luigi and make super crappy world. I brought this on myself, okay? I will admit, I brought this ROM hack on myself. Gosh darn it, okay, that is great love. Random Clay Bravo in the middle of nowhere kills you just like gold Atari days dead. But note to self, do not enter pipe. For it does not give you cake, it gives you death. There we go. Oh, I need a running jump for that one. Ugh. Play! Play! Don't hit the freeze frame button, hit the play button! Here we go. Here we go, that actually went really, really well. What does this say? The exact same thing as the last block did, didn't it? I wonder if that Koopa Shell is supposed to keep going right and allow you to jump like this. Because he did turn 
back. Oh, oh, this is the end of level. I wonder if that's why I needed to keep the mushroom. Do chompers kill you in the death sequence? Or death sequence? I'm already thinking this is a Kaizo trap. <laughs> I don't think they actually kill you. No, they don't. Although I will say one thing for certain. Geronimo! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't need the yellow switch palace. I did not need the yellow switch palace. Well, on the next episode of Let's Play Super Crappy World 2, we're going to see what garbage <laughs> Mr. Dragon decided to put into Yoshi's Island 1. So this has been Miles Luigi.